Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a transparent control. So we're going to add a class here and we're going to call it overlay control. And they're going to call it or extend it from control. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to make the background transparent. Uh, or set the styles to tell that tell the control that its background is transparent. So um, create params in Windows. This control that we're creating is actually a window, and you can set extended window styles using win window uh, user 32 calls. This just makes it easier so that we don't have to do that. So um, we are going to save the create params object here and adjust it and then return it. So cp dot extended styles bitwise assignment here so we're going to set a flag and the flag is going to look like this. It's going to tell the control that it has a transparent background. Okay and next thing that we need to do is disable painting to the background on background paint on paint background and we're just going to comment that there's base code now we can actually paint something so predicted override on paint we don't need the base code here and I'm going to create a pen first going to be a red pen. It's going to be four pixels width. And we're going to draw it. Draw ellipse. Okay. I'm going to drag this control onto my form here. And there it is. So you can actually change the smoothing mode to anti elast and will still look right which is cool and you are going to get a bit of flicker with it so if I were to anchor this and adjust the form size you'll notice a bit of flicker when I'm doing it actually quite a bit and to be honest, I've tried a lot of different back buffering techniques with this method, and I actually couldn't get it to stop flickering. Somebody has discovered a way, of course, to do this without flickering, and it's pretty elaborate. You're basically drawing, getting all the controls and stuff behind the current control and capturing them and combining them into one bitmap. It's uh, pretty crazy. and. Uh, and I'm not going to do a video on that just because I would rather you to do a, use WPF or create a rich environment just in one large control. And that's it. See ya.